Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has reiterated his hopes for a summit with President Park Geun-hye. His warmer tone came during a meeting with South Korean lawmakers in Tokyo for a three-day visit. Our Hwang Sung-hee reports on whether it will be enough. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he will uphold Tokyo's landmark apology to the victims of its wartime sexual enslavement issued in 1993. In a meeting with a South Korean parliamentary delegation on Thursday, Abe said he does not deny the Kono statement and added the so-called comfort women issue is heartbreaking. The Japanese leader said it's regrettable that the issue has been turned into a political dispute between Seoul and Tokyo, but did not lay out a concrete solution. President Park Geun-hye had reiterated that Japan's sincere apology for its wartime atrocities was one of the preconditions for her first summit with Abe. The Japanese leader said he is always open to talks and expressed hopes to improve ties with Korea this year, which marks the 50th anniversary of diplomatic ties. Cha chung won the ruling Senuri Party Supreme Council member who is leading the delegation, told Abe that President Park hopes that this year will bring a new start for the two neighbors. Bilateral ties between South Korea and Japan are at a historic low, mainly due to Abe's repeated denial of Tokyo's historical wrongdoings. Nine South Korean lawmakers are currently on a three-day visit to Tokyo, seeking a breakthrough. Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party General Council Chairman Toshihiro Nikai is expected to lead a 1,000-member delegation to South Korea next month. The question now is whether the parliamentary diplomacy will be enough to break the ice between the two neighbors. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.